Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about why some dental x-rays hurt more than others. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. There are four main reasons why x-rays can be uncomfortable. One, bony projections. Some people have mandibular tori and or a palatal torus. These are bony projections, bony growths, and they are on either side of the floor of the mouth and or the roof of your mouth, your palate. They can be super big or barely noticeable, but either way, they can make x-rays super uncomfortable because you have to bite down right where they are. And although they can be annoying, they are not harmful to your health. They just make biting down a not so fun experience. They get in the way. Two, the size of your mouth. A small mouth means difficult dental x-rays. If you can't open your mouth wide enough, we need to force the sensor into your mouth to get a good picture, and forcing them in is oftentimes uncomfortable for both your mouth and your jaw. Sometimes it's hard to open wide if you have a small mouth or jaw problems, right? And in addition, since the sensor is a hard rectangular block, it can often touch the back of your throat and activate your gag reflex, which could be unpleasant. There are so many tips and tricks to prevent this from happening, to prevent gagging that really work, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'll wait until the end of this video to go over all of that. Three, location of teeth. Sometimes certain teeth are located in specific areas of your mouth and jaw that are truly just hard to see and hard to reach, and those are usually your molars, especially your wisdom teeth. They are so far back there in the jaw for some people, it just depends on your anatomy. Everyone is different, right? We are who we are. But again, with the gag reflex, the further back a tooth is, the more you'll feel the sensor near your throat. And four, vertical bite wings. Some patients, especially patients with periodontal disease and bone loss, require vertical bite wings instead of horizontal bite wings. Horizontal bite wings look like this, the norm, the usual way to take x-rays. But with bone loss, oftentimes clinicians need to take vertical bite wings like this to properly see the level of your bone in relation to your teeth. So if you're someone who needs vertical bite wings and you have any tori or a small mouth or any of those other things that make it difficult, it can be a super irritating combination of things that will make your x-rays more uncomfortable than others. Now, having said all this, I need to make it clear how important dental x-rays are. If you are worried about x-rays being uncomfortable due to any of these reasons, or if you've had past experiences of, dare I say the word, painful x-rays, my best advice is to always, always, always let the dental provider know beforehand about your concerns. If we know ahead of time that you have a gag reflex, for example, like I was saying earlier, we have so many different techniques and ways we can make it more comfortable for you. Also, I do have a video all about how to survive dental x-rays, which I will link in the bottom row below if you'd like to learn more about these tips and tricks to prevent gagging. But again, telling your clinician, informing us beforehand will make it so much better for you. X-rays are the only way we can see between your teeth, the only way to confirm whether or not you have have cavities between your back teeth, so I can't stress enough how important they are and how we want to help you be comfortable and not dread getting x-rays so we can properly care for your teeth. If you'd like to learn more about the importance of dental x-rays, how to understand your x-rays, different types of x-rays, I'll link all of my x-ray videos in the bottom row below. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did, and until next time, peace, love, and teeth.